Right, uh, what I'm going to do, uh, obviously I'm going to go through and show you some more of how it works, a bit, bit more behind the scenes of that. I'm also going to cover the lab benefits and also uh, sort of recover some of the surgery benefits involved. I'm going to show you the cost savings, why this saves so much money as well. Uh, and then I'm also going to show some of the brand new stuff to the system, so really exciting stuff. Uh, I'm, I'm really looking forward to this. So straight away, we come from uh, Ripon, North Yorkshire. Uh, Ripon's famous for a, a cathedral. Uh, it's a city, it's a very, very small city, I think it's the smallest city in fact. So what happens is people come to the cathedral and they go to these lovely tea shops and then they all get back on a coach and they all leave. So, uh, you know, scenic though it is, it's very quiet and there's not a lot around here. So not the kind of place you'd expect to find uh, people really heavily invested in their digital dentistry. But I'm going to show this is exactly why th these systems are fantastic. They're a great leveler. They're for everybody and they're very accessible because there's no point in uh, you know, having to invest in them. You can literally get straight into these uh, so it's very easy access. So it's, it's great for the small lab and the big lab and the, the small surgery and the big surgery. You know, this, this really is the best way forward. As Tim mentioned with the Atlantis system, uh, it's been in America for 14 years now. Uh, so although it's new to the UK, it's actually been well, very well used in America. It's 50% uh, of the American market now, customized CAD cam abutments and they're using the Atlantis system. Uh, so you're not being asked to be a guinea pig and try something new. It's very well documented, very well tried and tested as well. And when we look at them, we break down to the, the various different benefit areas of the Atlantis abutment. So I don't have to go into it too much, but the virtual abutment design that Tim covered, uh, basically for, for all the technicians and surgeons who learned out there, it's the classic, you know, working from the full contour design, then building back to make sure you have enough room to have uh, the, the layering for the ceramic or composite that you're going to be using. So it's the, uh, the, the very classic Yamamoto technique, go to the, the full, then come back. But because we're doing it uh, in a digital format, it's really time efficient, which is a great uh, cost efficiency. You know, and, and, and especially now when you've got very skilled technicians and surgeons, your time's worth a lot. So this is great because it allows you to know where you're going to get the very best result, be in the very best position without all that time wasted having to manually build it up. Uh, and all it means ideally is the perfect custom abutment. I mean, I know a lot of people look at, you know, CAD CAM and you know, we say a lot of this, that and the other, but basically it's just a very simple route to a perfect customized solution for every single case. One of the things we always like to cover with these um, is from a lab point of view, we really like to promote this to the surgeons. When you do do the Atlantis system, you need less alloy to make the nucleus for the, for the crown. So you need a certain amount of support for that porcelain. So what you would use is if you've got that Atlantis abutment, you've got so much less uh, material needed to, to make that um, uh, you know, support. So it's all done with the titanium, as you can see. And Tim's already covered this with the cement clearing, but we did see this a lot when we used to do a lot of modified stock abutments. We, we thankfully really don't do very many of these at all now. It's only on systems you can't get CAD CAM options. Uh, you know, the, the cement is easier for the surgeon to clear and clean. And greater area for uh, retention. So, you know, when you put these, uh, these bridges on, and we have, you know, put uh, bridges on on small modified stocks, and sometimes they'd, they'd keep coming off. You know, and obviously that's embarrassing for everybody. It's embarrassing for the surgeon because the patient keeps coming back to them, presenting with a bridge out of their mouth, which knocks the patient's confidence in the fixed restoration they paid for. So that's not great, really, in getting you referrals and recommendations for your work. You know, you, more surface area, greater retention for these things. And uh, with the soft tissue contouring, the reason I wanted to cover this uh, more on the lab side is you have these different modes you can order your soft tissue contouring in but you learn to use the system and you work with your surgeon so you use this communication tool and discuss what you're going to do with the tissue and then when you've decided what you're going to do we manually modify that into the soft tissue itself so when you look at the picture on the right hand side you can see we've developed the soft tissue uh, using silicon fraser burrs which are really nice they just glide through the the rubber they don't fight against you and then that allows us to then place an order through with the, uh, the, the milling team to make sure 
that the contour and emergence completely follows what we've set out. And the reason that this is important is I've heard a lot of people say, oh, it's great, but you can't do fluted emergencies, you can't do this, you can't do that. I'm, you know, I'm sorry, it's not, you know, it's not right. You can. You can do everything you can do with a custom abutment with these. As you can see from those abutments uh, on different angles of that abutment in the bottom right there, it's fluted. And on the buckle contour, we've even got it coming back. Uh, buckley so you can manipulate it and tell it exactly where you want to be it's just knowing how to use the system and that's where you know the skill of the technician and the relationship with the surgeon comes in you know where they want to be and that's still why you know it's still one of these things where it's not completely out of your hands it isn't it's a hands-on system it's for you to get exactly what you wanted and Tim's already covered the the options here and the good thing with the options is it, it gives you choice so you know in one case it might be an okay it could have been titanium but it's quite small uh, and it's in the anterior section, so you know it's, we'd go with zirconia maybe. But if it's you know lower anterior and it's quite small, then you don't really want to be using zirconia because of your material science. Zirconia is good in bulk, and when you get thin, then switch over. Do the gold hue. We do a lot of gold hue uh, with uh, Dr. Doswell with our raw ceramic work, uh, and that just gives a really really nice result. So that means that you're also getting uh, a very strong. It's still titanium. So what I want to cover here is if anybody has used uh, the Atlantis abutment system, you'll, we'll talk about the connection they have. Because Atlantis was developed by an engineering company, uh, and they were acquired by Astrotech. So they've set out primarily one goal was only to make custom abutments on any of the platforms, but to make the ideal custom abutment and make sure it was the best connection you could have. So the philosophy is very much they still respect everything that needs to be there but they also don't just take it for granted they they look at every interface they're going to engage with and then they test it and redesign it and then test it and redesign it so it goes through finite element analysis as you can see here and the red areas are where you're getting higher stress loading and then when they've gone through that they actually then mechanically test it so it's like the IKEA test where you see something is bouncing up and down and up and down on it it's literally loaded and loaded at extreme angles uh, to make sure that the design and interface they've given does prevent something like loosening or breakage so they make sure it's the best connection you can have uh, and here I show an example of exactly what we mean by that on the left you have the Atlantis connection on the right you have the stock connection of an implant system on the stock you can see they've got these uh, little uh, uh, notches that's just to stop it rotating but when you're using the, uh, the these, these areas here but when you're using the uh, Atlantis system what they did is they looked at it and thought well actually if you look these areas that are circled a slight back off room so if it backs off the screw could start loosening so when the engineering company looked at it, they thought well no actually the best thing to do here is to engage the, the, the big flat surfaces that we have and that prevents the chance of micro movement or backing off so you know it's, it's not just take it for granted and they're not one of these you know cheap copy companies like oh that's what one abutment looks like so let's just copy that interface no because they guarantee this so they want to make sure that they're not going to have to you know pay out on that guarantee you know offer you the best you can uh, the other thing is it's also the screws the screws are again individually engineered so that they make sure they have the best clamping force and make sure that they hold that abutment in place because you know the, the two vital components make sure that that's going to work and for those people who like to just use a lab screw and send back uh, an unused screw to the surgeon you can order extra screws specifically for the Atlantis abutments you're using and just keep them in the lab it's available for all the major implant um, platforms out there and we now have uh, a cam log which I'm incredibly happy about because we do do quite a few of these and the, the, the restorative components you see on the left hand side of this slide here this was the range restorative range for cam log uh, including a little link abutment there for the style of milling an abutment and um, cementing on a, a zirconia section but many of our surgeons don't like that they want the one piece they want the strength of the one piece so this has allowed us to come to the full custom solution now we can get the, the ideal instead of having to compromise because I hate compromise you know we all do uh, and it's so disappointing when you see a case that could be beautiful and fantastic and it's compromised because you don't have the right componentry to get you where you want to be Tim's mentioned the duplicate abutment it is only a third of the cost so when you order it it's a third of the cost at the same time so 